Lot number 13 is a 1998 Proline Open Fisherman. It says 24 cc on the plexiglass, but on the title it says 25.5. So it's probably a 24 cc, but since the, it has a bracket, they measured it, including the bracket that adds a foot and a half. So it's a 25.5 on the title. Let me show you the boat. The hull is a 98. The motor is a 2002 and the trailer is a 2009. Okay, the tandem axle, aluminum frame with the front and galvanized. The front portion, as you can see right here. The hull has the, uh, this section right here, I don't know what they call it. Pulpit. The what is it called? Pulpit. Anchor pulpit. Anchor pulpit. Yeah, we found out that yes. Yeah. I never heard that before. Anchor pulpit. All right, you can stand up there and the anchor right goes right through there. The boat has a wrap on it. The wrap is peeling, as you can see. Uh, it looks good there, but some areas here, it doesn't look so good. You can see it's bubbling here. And on the, on the actual hull, the paint has some scrapes from pulling the rope or rubbing against a, uh, a dock or something. There's some scratches. The trailer looks really good. The tires are fair to good. The motor is an Optimax 225. We're gonna start it up. It's a two-stroke engine. Yes. And uh, we got the water connected and we're gonna show it to you. All right, this has a transom in the back. As you can see, it looks like it's almost two feet long. So that's the reason why uh, it says 25.5 on the title. The motor, can we uncover the motor, please? This has an entrance through the back. As you can see, there's a door. And the good thing about this platform, you can get in the water a lot easier than not having one. It seems to have been well done. I don't know if this was done from factory or was added on. But uh, my job is to show you what you're what you're getting into. The T-top looks good. It's got a stereo. I see the speakers. I don't know see the stereo yet, but I'll get to that. You want me to help you there? Got that side? Okay, here we go. Here's the engine. Appears to be complete. Seems to be lubricated with some lubricant. It looks good. It's got the uh, oil injection tank, which is connected, right? Yep. They're not. You're not mixing the oil. No, nope. it mixes on its own. And it's got extra tanks. In That's there. a good sign. Some people bypass those tanks, but I like it when they're on looks more original it looks stock it doesn't look to have been rebuilt it looks all original you can see there does the hour meter work uh, you don't know yet we'll look into that sure. all right it's got a stainless steel vengus vengus prop mercury marine very nice and the lower unit looks pretty good well let me get inside the boat now All right, that's a saltwater series. All right, I'm coming in. It's got the rod holders. It's got the cushions. The cushions appear to be in good shape. They're just dirty. This boat has been in storage for almost two years. I'll show you the compartments in the back. Somebody called me and asked me to make sure I show the compartments there's another compart car compartment on the floor there you have your bilge pump it's got a battery charger I believe it's got a 
oil, uh, filter, water filter. All right, it's dry. All right, the floor, I'm walking on the floor. I weigh 265 pounds. It feels solid. This boat has a 12 person capacity, a total of 1,725 pounds. The gauges look worn, faded. Uh, the trim is cracked. The gauges look old. All right, the steering wheel looks good. Here's the hour meter. Uh, not legible. Wait, it says 16. Wait, it says a thousand. It says a thousand something. I will take a picture and see if you can read it yourself. I'll post it. It's got a VHF. Has a, here it has a Ray Marine. It's even lit up. What is this? All right, it's got a fish finder chart, radar, data. It's a Ray Marine, that's all I can see. And it has a fusion stereo, so it does have a radio. I wonder if it works. Oh, let me turn it on. Okay, it says connected, no, no, no connect, not connected. Okay, it's an MSRA205 made by fusion but it lights up can't tell you if it works or not it, it locks there's a push button to open that door it's got a compass I'm feeling the floor the floor feels good got a nice deck up here more speakers another compartment on the floor here it's got an anchor let me see what this is this must be a more stuff here a horn tie downs another compartment on the floor Arr. let me see if i can open this okay there's another compartment on the floor here i have problems opening it because uh i can't grab it ow it hurts What was that? There's two more compartments under these cushions I heard. As you can see, underneath. And uh, let me see if I can open this one. My God, they're so short. Okay, it's got a life vest. The hinges are missing the screws. Okay, got another compartment up here. Let me see if I can open this one. This one, the hinges are also off the screws. All right, it's got a lot of compartments. Okay. The T-top, let me show it to you. It's all aluminum. The canvas is good. It says got them. Yeah, they got them all right. All right. So the floor feels good. And we're going to start the engine now. Okay, here we go. It's turnkey, I was told. Oh, huh? Wait. Oh, look at this. Underneath the leaning post, there's also another compartment. Fishing lines and all that stuff. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, let's start it up.
Sure sounds good. All righty, well, that's pretty much it. This video is very long. So the cowling is faded. The decal can be replaced. The tilt and trim. Yep, goes up and down. And the steering, how is it good? Okay, the steering is a little loose, he says. Go ahead. It's got play. All right, so that's what you gotta look into. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you, sir. The batteries. No, let me show. It is dangerous here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna show you the batteries. It's got, it's got three batteries. And there's the oil pump, the oil container for the two stroke. All righty. I'm gonna take pictures. You're gonna see them in the pictures anyways, okay? So thank you very much and good luck.